Hello everybody, Mac McClaric here, and I'm back to bring you my top 10 favorite reboots and remakes in video games. Now, whether it's a movie or a book or even music, music or even a today's subject, video games, it seems like that's what everybody likes to do nowadays, is to remake and reboot a lot of video games and I'm here to bring you my 10 favorite with that being said let's kick it kicking off the list is Conquer Live and Loaded well what can I say about this game it's basically Conquer's Bad Fur Day but with HD graphics it looks good but it's still the same story, nothing really new, but it's a nice way to kick off the list and it really could have used a better multiplayer. Double Dragon Neon. This one is a Xbox Live game. It's basically another HD remake of the first one and it does it absolute justice. To see such an old arcade game get an HD remake and it stick to the actual story of the game? Wow, that makes it even better. And plus, it gets online multiplayer. How freaking sweet is that to be able to play with your best friend who's probably 50 miles away or whatever and get to play an old arcade game that y'all used to be able to play in the same house. But that's kind of where it falls. It's just Double Dragon with HD graphics. That's why it's only number 9. Well, what can I say about this game? What can't I say about this game? From its awesome old school HD graphics to its way it brings everything back. The new Green Hill Zone is awesome. Uh, I love how you play from the first Sonic to Adventure 2 to even more than that. And it is just so awesome to see all that happen. So with that being said, Sonic Generations is a remake. No, no, no. It's a, it's a reboot. No, no. It's uh, it's a, uh, a rebooting. That's right. Yes, yes, yes. A new Donkey Kong Country in the form of a reboot. Sweet. This game is freaking awesome. I'm currently playing it right now and haven't beat it yet. But already it's freaking great. It has that old DKC feel to it. It's the levels are nicely detailed and it's difficulty in some parts go from easy to wanting to go through throw your controller. What was that stuff about? Only for me. You've already beaten it. can hear all you now. Bruce Jordan and Craig said, yeah, shut up. I don't care what he has to say. Anyways, to the game. This game is technically a reboot. I, uh, but it, it's great nonetheless. It perfectly recreates the old arcade game of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. From the levels to the bosses. Everything has been reimagined into a beautiful game. Even the voices have been improved. The difficulty has been improved. But the music is kind of lackluster. Yeah, that's the part I agree with Craig on. We're cool like that, so it's alright. Anyways, this game is still very enjoyable to play with friends, so I highly recommend 
Coming in at number 5 is Super Mario All-Stars As you can see on the title screen Do -do -do -do. This game is actually 5 games in 1 That's right But Mega McClick, which one are you going to focus on? Um, well I would love to focus on all of them But uh, oh wait There's actually the Super Mario Brothers 2 game on it Oh yeah Shit just got real. In All Stars, it's called the Missing Levels, and with the Japanese right on it, it is hard as crap. With the poison mushrooms, the difficulty way up on this one. It's one of the more challenging games in the pack, but everything else is good. It's beautifully remade. I love the graphics on it, and it's just a nostalgia drip all over. Ah, Pokemon Heart, Gold, and Soul Silver. This one's close to my heart and my soul, huh? See what I did there? Yeah. Um, this is a remake of Gold and Silver. Gold is my preferred game because it was my first Pokemon game ever. It uses 3D sprites of the newer generations and uses the new gen system as well. And it's just beautifully retold the two best games in the series. But uh, other than that, you can have your Pokemon follow you around. That's pretty neat, just like in Yellow. But uh, other than that, this is a good game. I recommend it to check it out. Ugh, this game, this MFing game is so freaking good. It make it takes the remake of Punch Out, the only game on this list that I've never beat the original. That's right, I've never beat the original. But anyways, let's get off that subject. This game came out late 2009 for the Wii, and it is freaking amazing. The difficulty is fair, the fights and characters are cool and goofy. Being able to beat up Donkey Kong is awesome. Getting to fight the old legends from the original is great. But where I think this really shines is in the title defense mode, where you go through everybody again, but they have newer moves and newer tricks up their sleeves. So I recommend picking up a copy for this remake. Coming in at number two is Mortal Kombat the remake. Eh, yeah, I know. Y'all yeah, should have expected this game, but it's so freaking amazing. They went back to the 2D arenas and kept the 3D models, and it works. The story expands over the first three games, beautifully retelling them to the point that they actually made sort of a new story. And man, is it awesome. And the difficulty is that, trust me on that definitely pays homage to the old school games with how difficult it is with that being said the game modes are very fun you get the classic arcade to test your luck strike and sight games and also introducing the all new challenge tower which has over 200 challenges for you to do but it is not my favorite remake of all time it comes up next but before we get to that Let's hit that old recap. Servite, so play it. Coming in at number 10 is Conquer Live and Loaded. Number 9, Double Dragon Neon. Bring on the Neon Dragons. Number 8, Gotta Go Fast. Gotta Go Faster, 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 Faster. Sonic Generations. Number 7. Donkey Kong Country has returned! Number 6 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles We shall Turtles in a half shell Number 5 Super Mario All Stars Alright Number 4 Pokemon Hot Gold and Soul Silver it's good for the soul. Number three, Punch Out the Remake. Oh yeah, 
punching out the clock. Oh yeah, you know I have to. Mortal Kombat at number two. And Oh god. Oh my. Oh my god, he just ripped his head off. What 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 oh my god, that's his lungs! That was so freaking cool! That's right, folks. Number one pick is Splatterhouse. I know what you're thinking. How can this beat Mortal Kombat? There's nothing better than Mortal Kombat. Because to me, this is a perfectly remade game of the original. Adding all sorts of stuff to it. The game looks really good. The kills are awesome. And plus, the original games are my favorite. So when I heard about this remake, I jumped all over it. And boy, it did not disappoint. And the story is still following our hero Rick and his quest to save his girlfriend from the evil Dr. West. That's right, it rhymes, I know. And in order to help him, he dons on a mask in order to save his life, which is where he gains his powers. The gameplay is very straightforward beat em up where you run around the mansion and kill the demons and execute kick-ass finishers worthy of being in Mortal Kombat. At Boon, again, DLC, the controls handle great, especially going from 2D to the 3D sections in the game. The, the sound is great in the game, taking it in all sorts of heavy metal bands and with the mess cracking rice cracks as you it fits perfectly once you finish the game you unlock the original three. Big plus for me by the way. It's fine serve Bart. This game is an all around fun game with a few hitches here and there like extremely long loading times and the occasional freeze. But other than that, Splatterhouse is my all-time favorite reboot and remake of all times. Thank you for watching, and as up, I'm the Magma Cleric, and as always, kick it.